heat of battle, he don't miss. No. In the heat of controversy, he don't miss. See, I'm not a monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. In the meantime, and as usual, go fuck yourself. So you sit there, you wonder why. Like, hey man, this Call of Duty is fucking trash. The players who play it are absolute sweaty nerds who smoke alarm batteries need to be changed. All the communication you ever get in these lobbies from people is nothing but cringe as fuck. It's not like a bunch of low testosterone, sexually frustrated, pimple-faced, TDV, sweat-ass nerds. And you're thinking, hey man, how's this game sell so much every year? How are people still playing this horrible game? How do people willingly buy the worst-looking skins in a first-person shooter where you can't even see yourself? Like that right there proved a the point to me. People spend billions of dollars accumulatively on the skins in a first-person shooter where you can't even see yourself and think it's awesome that just shows you right there that in fact the stats back everything up i've been thinking the call of duty community is literally the dumbest statistically speaking dumbest group of gamers in the world a new huge study guys have shown which games have the highest iq player base and which games have the lowest and in fact like i said no surprise call of duty is down at the very bottom with literally literally close to brain damage level of intelligence let me read this to you real quickly here guys this is so exciting but this is hilarious because honestly all you call of duty guys out there you look at the content look at what they're watching face and all these other bitches out there and dudes with the most powerful meta weapon guys. But all these meta mouth open ridiculous thumbnails that look like they're made for Down syndrome kids with facial injuries because they got their head stuck in a blender. How's that happen? I don't know. I'm not a moron. But it happens. And it makes sense as to why people are buying this game because they're all fucking dumb as dirt. Surveys are a commonplace in the video game business. As industry leaders gauge the market with one report finding that 71% of Americans play games also 75 percent of americans are fat as fuck while also hitting that gamers are becoming more hardcore, hardcore. than they used to be watch bingo surveyed 1002 gamers to assess their iq via verbal communication mathematics logic and visual reasoning with a team of psychologists to administer an intelligence test after asking them which games they preferred to play and which console they used, the site made a list of 20 titles, including Counter-Strike, Baldur's Gate 3, Overwatch 2, Dota 2, Call of Duty, and Rocket League. The average IQ in the world is measured at 100, and when right from the highest IQ to lowest IQ, the list is as you see below. So, League of Legends, highest IQ, boom, roasted, 120. Damn, that's pretty good. Black Myth, Wukong, 119. Boom, that's intelligent. Baldur's Gate 3, 117. Damn, that is some elite level Call of Duty, next level top notch balls, deep only halfway in intelligence. Counter Strike, 116. Elder Ring, I play Elder Ring, 114. That seems pretty odd. That sounds on point. I mean, oh, oh sorry, I thought, I thought it said 411. That's my IQ. Anyways, Dark Souls, 114. Overwatch 2, 113. Dota 2, 111. Proving League of Legends is superior to Dota 2. Get mad, nerds. Deadlock, 108. Rainbow Six Siege, 108. That's got to be fake news. Wings of Redemption plays Rainbow Six Siege, and that guy has an IQ of 65. Genshin Impact, 106. Battlefield 2042, 105. All right, trust me, it gets a lot worse. How low is this going to go? Pretty fucking low. Destiny 2, 105. We're still not even close to Call of Duty yet, guys. Escape from Tarkov, 104. Okay, still going 14th on the list. That's down to 15. Apex Legends, 104. Okay, it starts to get really bad from here, guys. GTA 5, because that's where all the black guys play. 96.8 that's on brand sea of thieves 95.7 because that's a bunch of little kids play that or streamers that, like look like they got huge pumpkin heads like what's that guy's name summit 1g yeah okay here we are all the way down to 18th on the list ladies and gentlemen drum roll call of duty Warzone in Modern Warfare 3 with an average IQ of, once again, drum roll, 95.3, meaning that people that play Call of Duty are borderline 
retarded. Just so we can all get an understanding of how dumb the Call of Duty community is as a whole, is that anything above 100 is an above average IQ. And if you're below 100, like at 95, you are now slightly below average. In percentile terms, 95 falls at 37%. That means when you're in a room of 100 people, 63 of those people are smarter than you. And that's the best we're going to get here. So that means that 65% of people playing Call of Duty right now have an IQ of 95 and below and if you are below 95 because you already are retarded at 95 below 95 you are bordering on down syndrome sub-sahara african bone in your nose level iqs where you really shouldn't even be allowed to vote or procreate because you are mentally deficient in fact going forward i would like to propose something to the society of the world anyone caught buying a Call of Duty should be barred from voting, procreating, and participating in society going forward. And furthermore, anybody who's purchased Call of Duty and skins needs to be euthanized immediately. But you can just go to Canada for that legally right now. So all the Nick Mercs and all the face swag and all these people that watch Blame Truth, you guys are all dumb on the lower bell curve of 95.3. I'm being honest. Blame Truth videos are fucking horrible. It's just all clickbait nonsense, making up bullshit the whole entire time, dragging him over 20 minutes. If you enjoy that content, you're retarded. I'm just being honest. Like, he's not. That guy's smart. That dude's, that dude's making $30,000 a month cashing in, selling LED retard helmets to a bunch of actual retards. But... <laughs> Guys, this is amazing. So you sit here, myself I do, well, some of you probably don't sit here and wonder because you're too stupid to even be able to, you know, formulate a thought and like, you know, you could rub two sticks together and you just get a fart. Like, I love Call of Duty. Black Ops 6 is the best game ever, guys. Can't wait to go buy some more anime skins of strong, powerful black females. I love it. I like to watch Nate Shot. Nate Shot's an amazing streamer. Blade Truth is awesome. Call of Shame is totally not a grifter. I love Call of Duty. You guys are actually statistically mentally deficient mongoloids. It's just a fact. Don't get mad at the guy who's just spitting the facts as everyone always does on this platform because you guys are morons and that's just how it is. People like me are geniuses. If you agree with me, you're a genius as well. And I love you. Kisses. Hit that like button, subscribe right now if you can figure that out. If you're probably a huge Call of Duty fan, you watch Hero or The Rick or Fooly and these people and Blame Truth and they're a shit of and you're entertained by them. You might be too dumb to even figure out where the like button is. And I'm surprised you could figure out how to even like navigate the subscription feed in YouTube's homepage to even be able to find my videos. So I would like you guys who aren't mongoloids to go through my old videos if you got the time. You probably don't because you got better stuff to do but you guys who are mongoloids who sit at home on welfare and your smoke alarm buys go chirp you're still wondering why dad hasn't come back with the milk you guys have got lots of time but avoid you're too dumb to even realize how stupid these comments are because you're the kind of dudes to leave the dumb comments but it's the holidays all you smart guys out there go back and look at some of the comments on my videos you will see comments that will just melt your brain that there's that many dumb people out there this new study backs up and confirms my opinions and beliefs that I had about the Call of Duty community because I thought they had to be mentally challenged to be any way whatsoever support this game still and the kind of comments and the kind of content I see that gets views on this website had to be being viewed by mongoloids and it is it's true the study backs it up I'm the ghost of eight I'm better than almost all of you unless of course you hit the like button subscribe then you're telling me that you recognize that we're all awesome we're balls deep only halfway in if you haven't done that I got news for you it means you're gay and retarded but really, really most important, last but not least, stay black, question authority, and don't let the honky cracker, reptilian shapeshifters, build in the moon base, harp, they're spraying cam drills, 7-Eleven, was it for the part-time job, just blew it down, seven to behemoth girl worship, Alice, Earth is flat, the moon landing was fake, Alex Jones and Bill Hicks, the fluoride, has turned the Call of Duty community mentally challenged and gay.